Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mark Hess, and welcome to Malfunction, a game I've been working on called Malfunction. Or its current working title is Malfunction. Uh, yeah, I'm going to work on making a, a, a coming up with a better title later on. Uh, but for now, while I'm working on it, Malfunction is good enough. So, this is the game so far. Uh, this is not the whole thing. This is just a little section. And this room is actually the most fleshed out. You can probably hear some background noise. That's not me. That's actually coming from the game. That's actually these computers on here. So, yeah, it's actually based on a sound clip used by my old computer. So, I figured it, it, would, it would work well. So, um, this game is basically... Uh, basically, the premise of the game is... You are... A person in a facility. Yep, that's about as detailed as I've ever gotten <laughs> with this. Uh, you're a person in a facility. I'm using my own character model as a basis for the character in the game, Char the model of the game, to the point that if, if I wait a little while, hold on, it's going to come up. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but there is an idle pose which is not activating right now. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, there's an idle pose where literally the character will pose like my character, like my icon character for my, for the channel. It does because that's what it's all based on. I thought it would have activated by now. It's not. So anyway, you're in a facility and the power's out. Ah, there we go. He did it. <laughs> it's right when I changed the subject. Right. <laughs> He's got a bit of a comedian in him. Um, so yeah, he, uh, you're a character, you're a person in a facility. It's been abandoned. The power's off. And you've got to get everything working. You've got to open all the doors. You've got to get everything back online. And get to the final room. Now I'm going to show you some of the game. At the moment the lights are off so everything's dark and sort of dreary and uh, these are only this this is only the starting area. Uh, oh yeah the room goes dark because I actually wanted a mechanic where uh, also I should mention that sound effect you hear in the background only occurs when you're in this room. At the moment I've only fleshed out the first room with certain mechanics that I want throughout the base. Uh, so the rooms are supposed to darken when you're not in them. Not sure if that's going to be the case of the hallway, but as you can see, at the moment, the rooms aren't darkened. I haven't gotten to doing that yet. I tried it out and then realized I didn't need it until I finished the whole game, making the game. So, so far as all these, these are flashing a little bit, as you can see. Uh, hopefully you can see a lot more than, than what I can see, because <laughs> it's, it's actually quite a bit darker on my screen, because there's light behind me, and the like, sun's out in full force. Oh yeah, you're walking across, uh, you basically walk through this facility and there's a locked door and right now everything that works has a, uh, there's no locked door here, has a light on it. And if the light's red, the door is locked. Uh, this game is, uh, basically I defined it as an environmental, no, Ambience game? Why did I define it as? I got I got notes here. I got like a list of notes that I wrote when, before I even made it. Environmental ambient. So it's it's ex, ex, it's an exploration game basically, where uh, the environment itself tells the story. So uh, here's a sneak peek into one of the rooms. We'll be coming to that in a second, but uh, at the moment it's locked. Sneak peek into the room. That'll be darkened off in the full game uh, once I finish building everything. <laughs> and of course, there's another uh, direction down there. And you can pretty much see that nearly every direction that I've got us to go in is already got has already got a bunch of things in. So I bu I'm building it as I go. There's a few combinations of stuff here. You may notice some of the sprites are actually slightly in error, but that's not very frequent. So don't worry about that. So yeah, more rooms, more empty spaces, and this one's got another lock on it. So 
hopefully you didn't see the mouse, I just moved the mouse out of the way. Uh, so we come all the way down here, and uh, there's supposed to be a light on here. There's no light on here right now, but this is the final room over here. Uh, currently it's empty, because I haven't gotten to making it yet. But uh, you can't get in the final room. This is where you want to get to. That's the aim of the game, is to get into that room. The only problem is, you've basically got to go around the entire facility to get there. Now, this is the only unique object we've seen throughout the so far. So, we want to go up to this, and... I'm going to press space, and that'll turn it on. What this does is, uh, it opens one of the doors. So you're supposed to work all this out for yourself. This is a basically a puzzle kind of game, where you're basically exploring, trying to figure things out. I want there to be no narration in the game. Not a single piece of narration, except for the environment and the uh, objects themselves. So the actual imagery tells the story rather than there actually being a na narrative uh, thing to it. And I want it to be like a dark and foreboding sort of thing. So I want it to be quite ambient in that respect. I got a bunch of other notes on here. I'm going to look at my notes just for a second here, just to mention a few things that I may f maybe forget. Oh, there are noises. I haven't put all the noises in, but there should be some noises. Uh, oh yeah, I had some other working titles I went through, uh, which may actually add stuff to the game, but may, may add some theories into the game. I like the idea that maybe somebody might come up with some kind of theory about what's going on in the game, because um, I got an idea for what the story's going to be, but I'd like to see what other people's interpretations based on the environment is going to turn out to be. We'll see what happens. Probably nobody will say anything. It'll just be my interpretation only. Um, so yeah, there's been a power cut and you're actually trying to reboot the whole system. Uh, the security has basically gone on lockdown. As you can see, there's a light on that door, meaning it's now open. Uh, so these were the these were the titles that I came up before. Malformed, Recycle, Malfunctions in there as well, Transpire, Questions Beyond, Malpractice, and Desolation. I came up... Those are just names I just, off the top of my head. And now the door opens, it just, yeah, whenever you walk through the door, they open. Basically, I changed the sprite so that they just disappear from the center. But that whole sprite is still this section across to the edge of these doors, so it stretches across the wall itself. Meaning, I don't have to change the wall, I can just put the door straight in and it'll do it. Okay, so this is the very first puzzle of the game. And, uh, yep. So you got this room here with a fence, and basically we're aiming to get to that switch in the back. That's the only thing that's actually unique in this entire room, uh, except for all these little objects, which you could probably guess at that point are used to solve the puzzle of this gate. You know, I haven't used these gates anywhere else. I should use these gates in other parts of the game. I mean, technically it's just a fence and one of them opens, but that's besides the point. Um... <laughs> So, I'm going to, basically, I'm going to stand over, I'll stand here, and uh, I'm not going to show you the solution to the puzzle, I'm not going to tell you about it, so I'm going to actually cut the video here and come back once I've solved the puzzle, because I don't want to show it, I don't want to show it to you, I don't want to give you the answers. And that's how you solve the puzzle. I hope you're paying attention. Because I told you everything, I showed you everything you needed to know. What do you mean you weren't paying attention? <laughs> you looked away, did you? You blinked. <laughs> Stop blinking. <laughs> All right. So uh, the gate opens here. Uh, it just slides across. You didn't get to see the animation, but... Uh, and then you press this switch. Okay. And don't worry, I, I may... Uh, nah, never mind. Forget it. Um, <laughs> I was going to say something and then I could... Okay, so we press that switch, which will open another door, as far as you know, as far as we know. Uh, you can go, basically the idea is you check every single direction to see if any of the doors open, but since I made the game, I know which door is open at this point, so I'm just going to quickly move straight to it, and we go in through this door. 
Now, one of the things about this is we go into this room and this room is basically much bigger than the others. But uh, I may have just given something away by walking down there. Uh, there's all this stuff here. And there's nothing really unique. That switch again. There's a switch again. Hmm. wonder what that means. Um, and of course, ah, there's the thing we need to get to, but there is no way through. There's actually no way of getting to this at the moment. So, you look around, you're obviously, you, you would look around and you'd, uh, just keep looking and do whatever. But what I actually want you to do is not to keep go going, but to actually see, is there something else open? And I believe, I'm not sure if it's this point or this point. But at one point, you'll hear a sound. You can't hear it on this, because I, I um, haven't put the sound in yet. Uh, you'll hear a noise, and when you go back, because you go back, you'll then notice this box is now broken, and this door is stuck open. And of course, uh, this area is going to be dark. Uh, it's going to be covered with the, uh, the, the black box, which will make it impossible to see. And then you see this hole in the wall, Something has broken out of that box, broke open that door, and smashed through the wall. You can't follow it. You, you, you can't follow it. So, but now we can get to the switch. And whatever's next is open. Now that switch actually, um, I wanted this, I wanted the game to break into different directions uh, when we got to it. So, that switch actually opened several doors. Actually, lots of doors. Uh, it allows you to go to two different locations, but it now gives us access to this hallway, the um, north, east, south, the west hallway, where you can see basically nothing's been added. However, this door is now open. We didn't know it was closed before, but it's now open. Believe it or not, I have it set so these are always open. If you can get through that door without opening it, these are still open. So, yeah, it's just a way I can save uh, the game processing changing stuff when it doesn't need to. But down here, this is locked. Well, this that's not built yet. This is locked. This is not built yet. So, we only have access to the hallway, and that's now open, although it doesn't lead us to anything. But we can go in here, and in here we have a few things. You got a toilet here, nice little toilet room. I think this is a bathroom. Yeah, I, I think I designed it as a bathroom. This is like a dining room area. I might put like a TV and some settees in there. This is basically a living quarters. So this is a living quarters for whoever runs this facility, whoever's in this facility. And you got some beds, all in uniform. There's some tables, but there's still some computers in the rooms, just so that they have access to stuff. Uh, these kind of look like cookers when they're in here, which is why this is the kitchen. Um, <laughs> they weren't designed to be cookers, but that's that's the way it looks. Okay, so this room actually doesn't give you anything. Uh, when I get to the last room, that'll basically be... Actually, there are last rooms uh, at the moment. So, yeah. I'm just gonna. It's it's a long walk, and the car. You may notice some stuff with the character's animation that might be a bit of an issue, but uh, I'm working on a budget of nothing, <laughs> of zero. So, cut me a break there on that. This is actually being made in Game Maker. Uh, the game currently says it's made in Game Maker, so I don't really need to point that out. But you can't see it on the recording, so there's that. Um. Just gonna walk all the way over here, and this door is now open. So every door with a light on it is basically openable, eventually at some point within the game, and it's pretty much gonna be on every single door. Right now, I just haven't put them in, as I said. And this door is locked, and as you can see, you can see what I was mentioning earlier. Every door behind a locked door is open unless it's locked for later. So, uh, because I use the dark thing over the top. Uh, you won't be able to see that when the game is made. So, that'll be a thing. 
So it's just a way of me getting around having to program in or add in objects which are going to take a bit more processing power to do. Now, this uh, opened that entire hallway, sorry, the previous up room, the, uh, the main room with the thing that broke out, opened all those doors around the sides, uh, opened these two main hallways, the, it literally, it opened the west hallway, the east hallway, and the south hallway, literally opened them all, uh, north was open from the beginning, technically closed, but you were in it to begin with, so it's open, and, uh, yeah. It takes a while to walk through these. I, there's going to be more objects on the screen when uh, when the game's fully built. But this is what I have so far. This is all one big map. There is actually nothing beyond beyond this. I might make a second floor if I feel there's not enough rooms. But uh, at the moment it feels like I'm just playing things out a bit. I'm going to block that so you can't see it later uh, when I when I do the thing. Okay, so there's a room down here, and uh, there's this room here. At the moment, I've just got it so that when you go through here, you just have to get to here, and... Can I not? Oh. Well, that's a goof. Okay, I guess the rest is actually incomplete anyway. There's nothing in any of the rooms that this will unlock. But this is supposed to unlock those other rooms that had red on them still. Oh, God. I didn't realize you couldn't fit in there. I must have added that in later. Um, so, yeah, yeah. So, this will turn green. The red bit will turn green. And you'll be able to... I think it all lights up as well. Uh, and you'll be able to go into the red rooms. Uh, and it's basically all of it. Uh, there's so many seats here that it makes it look like the entire facility had a lot of people working on it, and something happened. Something caused the whole thing to just break down. And, uh, yeah. And the, the whole idea is to investigate what the hell this whole place is about. So we can't go in there now, um, because I, I goofed <laughs> when I made it. But, uh, yeah, this has been the game so far. This is pretty much the entire thing. Uh, as of yet. I'm still working on it. I'll get to building everything. And I need to put some ambient sounds and music. I may even have a walking sound effect for the character. For when he's walking. Uh, who knows? I'm not sure. But, uh... I like this section. It's a bit, it's a bit more filled and you have to dodge stuff. So you're not just pressing across the whole time. You are most of the time. So, at the moment, this room down here unlocks pretty much everything we can get to. Um, and there's a switch here that you still can't access and will probably never be able to access. But hey, the people who worked here could. And then there's the mystery of this thing. About what was in the box, where it went, and why it, well, why it left. How it could leave a door stuck open. Who knows? That's the idea, is the mystery <laughs> behind it. And I want to see how this game actually uh, goes down with people, because I'm not entirely sure how well people are going to going to take this, or whether anybody's going to look at it at all, <laughs> you know, uh, from someone basically unknown at this point. Well, at any point. I don't even know what I'm getting at, but... Uh, I spent a lot of time and I'm going to be spending more time on it. I hope to have the whole thing complete by the end of March. Uh, not 100% sure that I'm going to make it in time because I'm already so far behind and we're, we're almost halfway into March. And I, I want to try and get everything in, including sound effects. You can hear. I hope you can hear it. The background sound effect that's going in this room and it's gonna be ambient sounds like that it's not gonna be like music and stuff because I, I don't have access to music or anything like that um, except for I guess the standard stuff that you everybody uses but that's besides the point um, so yeah I don't have that much access to music and 
I like to I'm gonna try and use some sound effects whatever I can use here who knows I might put this commentary in somewhere <laughs> like on a radio I wanted to have like a little radio somewhere where you could turn it on and actually have some music I got some songs uh, on my computer that I actually made on my old Nokia phone <laughs> a while back so I might put them in like under a radio as like an Easter egg sort of thing but yeah, that's the whole game. That's pretty much everything. Uh, there's not really anything left to show you. Oh, he's doing his idle animation again. Did I take too long? Did I stop and talk forever? <laughs> I think it takes like a minute or two to actually get him to uh, do that, but he does it. And the, the screens, as you can see, are uh, fuzzing, and hopefully that looks all right. It, it probably looks terrible. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Malfunction. The wor it's a working title, and I hope to uh, get a better title eventually. Uh, make up, uh, come up with a better title eventually. Maybe you guys can make some suggestions for me. Uh, maybe something I haven't come up with yet. Let me know what you think about this game, and whether you think I should continue pressing forward or move on to something else and try to make something better. <laughs> I, I would like to reuse these assets in other games and even put maybe some easter eggs for other possible future projects into here first and see what happens. So thanks everyone for watching. Did I say that right? I don't even know if I said that right. That was a malfunction in my wording. Okay, name dropping. That's not that's not a thing I should do. So thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what you thought about this video and about this game and this whole thing in general of me doing games. Uh, but for now, we're done here. See ya. <laughs> what was that outro? Jeez. I can hear doors slamming. We're done here. It's still recording. Ah. <laughs>